Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Immortals of Abium, shall we? I don't really know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's alright. So, I'm excited to play this game for a variety of reasons. Number one, I know that it was like a commercial flop, and I always like to check in on a game, you know, a little bit after that to see if it deserved a flop or if it was bad timing with Baldur's Gate 3 or whatever. Also, this was free on PlayStation Plus. I mean, free if you're a member or whatever. So, I'm going to get to try it out. And I waited. I have no idea what this game is about. I've watched no videos. I've really done no research on it. The only thing I've seen about it is that um, it was a single-player RPG and you know, there was all this conversation about that it's a bad idea for AAA studios to do single-player RPGs, and I love single-player RPGs, so I want to see what it's all about. Let's go. All right, new game, please. Um, difficulty level, Magnus. A balanced experience that will challenge most players. That's me. Most players. That house looks cool. It's like a big hobbit hole. There is a wound in our world. At the center of Avium, the world grows larger by the day, threatening to swallow all of the five kingdoms. Our ruler ignore this as they wage their ever war, fighting over the control of magic. The powerful Magni, wielders of magic, lead their armies in an endless doom cycle. If there is hope, it will not come from them. Well then, fine. We can't trust the Magni. The braided lords of Celtis surrender. Their magna burned alive as they watched. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glavegate fell. To Sandrak, the bold and terrible tyrant of Rayshard. They called him their ruler, as he was of east and west. And the horns of their ancestors trumpeted blood in protest. Hardcore. Hush. Passage to the sands of Oroman was secured. The Sky Islands, careful. The ever -war I'm being approached careful. With wings as careful as last time. Careful, uh. And the That's not a word. Earth, yawned wide as he spoke, declaring the Magni of their order now vanished. Damn. You think Sandrak really talks like that? I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm Hidden from concentrating. the faces of the but. Line. But I am not. No, but I am not the man content to simply wonder. I am. I'm wondering every third word. I'm distracted. Go, go, go. No one cares about our and Oramin. Pull it off. Sandrak's coming our way. Got it. Let's go. That worked well. Hey, wait up. Luna! Over here, Jack. Wow. I'm in the bridge slums. Chapter one, Streetwise, follow Luna. All right. Hi. Uh, I guess she's over here, so here we go. Wow, it's a first-person RPG indeed. Oh, sliding. Yo! Am I okay? I don't know. How much did we get? Wait. I provided moral support. Maybe the others made out better. One can hope. 
Did Caleb ever tell you his plans for this caper he's got in mind up in Topside? I think he just likes to say cape. Caper. Cape. It's a fun word. It feels sneaky. Also, you two stay out of Topside. Okay, I have a double jump, no which is unreal. Come on. Okay. Um, am I on here? Hi? So I wasn't paying attention. What was the play about? Um, Calthus surrendered to Sandrak, and then he burnt all their magna. Alive. Well, that's not nice at all. What kind of message does that send? Um... Rude, if you ask me. That Sandrak really wants you to think he's capital E evil. I doubt he thinks that. You cannot think it and still be it, Luna. Which is kind of scarier. The tyrant of Rashad. See? Let's cut through the market. Sure. Um, okay, so it, it let me hold the center button to get more information about Luna. So, you know, there's, there's a lot happening in the beginning of this game. It's in Medias Res, like we're just starting right away with some characters. I didn't know who I was going to control. I, I think I saw her face a lot on the cover, but I thought I was going to be her, but it looks like I'm him. I don't know. And um, we started with something that I thought was a cutscene, but it ended up being a play within a play, which is hilarious. And this is Luna. She's been our leader since I joined the gang, and rightfully so. She's kept us alive and out of trouble more times than I can count. Now she wants to leave us and join the Light's army, and no matter how many times I try, I can't convince her that they don't need her. We do. I do. Okay, then. It seems kind of dead tonight. There's talk of a bunch of airships coming into dock. Some hivers probably think they can make easy money unloading cargo. Maybe that's what we should have done instead of stealing from the hat guy. He was a bust. By any metric, a man with a hat indicates a perfectly respectable mark. That sounds made up. Look at that. They're using magic. Saren, our home. It's built on a giant bridge crafted by some ancient and forgotten civilization. It's divided onto two parts, or into two parts, topside where the rich live and the underbridge where the rest of us struggle to survive. Some say that Saren was founded as a garrison for soldiers who would attack enemies trying to cross into Lucium, and over time it just grew as the least desirable place to live in Avium, the underbridge attracts the poor, the criminal, and desperate. Most of us that live here only think about one thing. Leaving. Yikes. I play Final Fantasy. Seven remake. It's got that Sector 7 feel, except it's Ewok Village. What's up? Uh, you're in no hurry to get back. No. You're thinking how much you're going to miss this garbage heap. Please, would you? Don't call my home a garbage heap. I don't want to spend my life living above a bottomless hole in the ground, Jack. We don't technically know if the wound is totally bottomless. All signs point to yes. They'll be okay, Luna. I'll watch over them. We... I've got an idea. Okay. So I think it's interesting that um, to live in this city, Saren, you have to be good at jumping or you die. Target practice? Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Saren Underbridge. It's janitorial work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? Nice. You'll make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a world, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? 
Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. Huh. Rashan's got no idea what's coming. That's Man, right. Corporal, I can even buy land. The whole farm just full of boots. Look, I know I keep saying I get it, but I don't. Not really. You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Everwar. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the time. You're not even going to try. Besides, I don't want to fight in the Everwar. I want to fight for Lucian. Exactly the same thing. Just shut up and shoot. I'll shoot. All right. Um, the Everwar. Yeah. Oh, I pushed the wrong thing here. There we go. For as long as any of us can remember, the Everwar has kept the kingdoms of Abium in constant conflict. Alliances come and go, and the battle lines have changed a thousand times. These days, it's Lucium against Rasharn, and it seems like Lucium is losing badly. They draft anyone they can get their hands on and throw them into the meat grinder. Not gonna happen to me. Alright, so um, I can shoot barnacles like that. Yes, I can. Sweet. I shot a barnacle. Well done. Let's go. When they ship you off to fight in the Ever War, where do you think they'll end up sending you? Who knows? Maybe I have just enough magic not to be considered lightless, and I'll have a say in where they send me. A Magnus gets a say. Probably. No offense, but what we do is kind of like. Pew, pew, pew. A Magnus is like. Pow, bing, brrrr. I mean, it's not even a contest. Yeah, some magic might as well mean no magic as far as the Magna are concerned. All right, so let's hear about this debate a little bit more closely. Magic is a part of all of our lives. Some of us can wield a little bit of it. Others own an enchanted item or two to make their lives easier. But the Magni are something else entirely. They're the most powerful magic users of Avium and the main weapons in the Ever War. Most are born with their magic powers, which usually leads to a life of wealth and privilege, unless they get killed first on the front lines. Seems like a raw deal. It does seem like a raw deal. This is all a raw deal, except these windmills are awesome. Oh, I can smell Fife's stew from here. Pretty sure the whole neighborhood can. You know, everything he cooks tastes vaguely like uh, regret. <laughs> Home. We're home. Oh, it's like an orphanage. Jack! Whoa! No love for the boss? Come here. Are you leaving us? You turn 16 in the morning, and that's when the soldiers fear you into the army because Jack said life is unfair. Or you could ignore the draft like a normal person. Happy birthday. No one tells me anything. How'd you score? <sighs> We're officially the worst street thieves in Saren. Hopefully Caleb redeems us. <sighs> Dug this out of the back of Trot's place. I guess we can act like it's cake. Oh, no. You're not eating that. Sure. Probably wise. Stew's almost ready anyway. Grab us some tubers from up top, Jack. Sure thing. Tubers? Let me know when Caleb gets here. I've got something I want to tell you all. Like that you're leaving us. Shut up, you. All right. I'm home. Somehow, Luna managed to scrape up enough cash to buy this place. Official-like, she owns the deed and everything. It's because of her, we all have a roof over our heads, and that's more than I could ever ask for. All right, then. So, now that I'm not following somebody, and I can take a moment to look around, and just comment on my game experience so far, I think that this game is actually pretty cool. Some of the dialogue is a little bit cheesy, but the world is very interesting. It's totally unique to have this kind of like, you know, underbridge uh, environment. The fact that most people have magic, it's really cool. They clearly spend a ton of money on this game. The graphics are amazing. The detail is amazing. And you can feel that the people who made the game, you know, this big team, actually did care about this. And, you know, it's not uh, the train wreck that I 
heard or at least expected, but I'm benefiting from number one, I didn't pay 70 bucks for this, I got it for free for, with PlayStation Plus, and then number two, I had low expectations. So, so far, I'm enjoying this. Hi, buddy. What do you put into stew when it's someone's birthday? What? Birthday stew. What goes in it? Yeah, that's not a thing, Fife. Want to try it? Um, take a sip. And? It's the snails that really seal the deal. Uh, snails. All right, well, let's go get the tubers, I guess. What are you doing, Rugrat? Stole some posters, adding them to my scrapbook. Want to see? Sure. But what's with you stealing posters? It's part of the historical record, Jack. Join the fight. No, thanks. This propaganda is going to rot your brain. Is that what happened to Luna? Brain rot? Is that why she's joining the Lights Army in the morning and leaving us? Um. Yes, sir. No, sir. She's doing her duty. No one escapes the draft, Babs. Plus, I really think Luna believes it's the right thing to do. Why is finding the apple the right thing to do? Look, I never said it was. And you better not tell Luna I said anything. She pretty much thinks I already have. I picked up Lightless and the Lights Army. All right, so we're gonna find a lot of these texts to read, and I'll read the small ones that are contextual about an area or whatever, but I think I'm gonna kind of just progress the story a little bit and save those uh, depending on how invested I get. Oh, here she is, what's this? Enlistment contract. I, Luna Underbridge, born in the city of Saren, do hereby acknowledge to have volunteered this 20th day of the Month of Swords to serve as soldier in the Light's Army for an initial period of 12 years. Ugh. Is this the deed? It is. Let it be known that Luna Underbridge of Seven Balstrad End is are now registered as the absolute proprietor of the realty comprised in the above-mentioned title. Awesome. And here she is. Um, I'm trying to, here we go. I know you told him. I did not. Well, something's got them all riled. Look, it's not like it was hard to figure out you're leaving. You're packing bags, you're crossing out days on the calendar, you're reading big, fat, official-looking books of... What is it this time? The Officer's Manual of Lights Army Regulations. See? No way that gave away the store, right? <sighs> what are you thinking? Would you rather fight a hundred-foot-tall crab or one hundred one-foot-tall crabs? Um, may come. 100 Probably one foot. Wait, a Vecchi crab or a crab crab? Don't overthink it. But Vecchi's are super aggressive. It's a fight. I don't know. If it's not about killing a hundred regularly dispositioned crabs, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> Idiot. Look, I'm seriously innocent. They just figured it out. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to know that they know. Not yet. I'm sure we'll all act surprised when you finally tell us. I'm gonna. Just just let me know when Caleb's back. I'll do it all in one big go. Um, Babs sounds pretty sad. Babs is going to miss you. It'll be good for her. She'll be in charge before you know it. Already acts like she is. She's a natural. Five up to Fife something? Guilty look. Because he's eating us out of house and home. All those apples you nicked yesterday? Gone. Those were supposed to last a week. They lasted an hour. Caleb should be back by now. Caleb's out late. I approved it. He's a good earner. Something's been really off with him lately. He's just impulsive. He'll grow up. You all will. How's the book? So what's in that book of yours? Lights Army Regulations, duh. Sure, but like, the worst one. You have to wear a surprising number of reflective belts. <laughs> what? No, I mean it. Maintaining the grounds of the keep? Reflective belt. Directing constructs to clear the roads? Belt. 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 I didn't expect the Everwar to be so safety first. Or so polite. I'm going to have to learn like 20 different salutes depending on Magnus officer ranks and the color of magic they use. 
Unless it's a foreign dignitary, then it's a weird kind of ancient curtsy. You, you, you know it's just going to be trenches and spell smoke, right? The night blades hacking away at everyone. Yeah, probably. Don't tell the Light's Armor you're from Saren. You should keep quiet about being from Saren. What do you mean? The Lucians. They don't really like us. Only because we constantly say that Saren isn't really part of Lucium. But it's not. Seen a map lately? Maps don't count. All right, they, they just do that so they can conscript us into the Light's Army. Just don't say anything, okay? Saren is home. It's a ramshackle wonderworld built by the lost, the low, the lightless in the margins, hanging above the wound with all the defiance her forebears passed on to their children. There's no finer city in Lucian than Saren, rickety in everything but faith. That's what I'm going to say, and you can't stop me. Anything in that about the Magni? So, learn anything new about the Magni in your book? Just that Magni don't have to actually read it. What, like they have their own book? Wouldn't know. That's a different world from ours. The only time the regulations mention the Magni is when it's about how to do exactly what they say because they know best. Psh, you're probably smarter than half of them. Magic can't conjure wit. Ben Tilly used to say that before, you know, she mysteriously disappeared. All right. Magni, huh? See ya. All right. See you at dinner. You bet. You bet. All right, let's get the tubas. All right, so you can see the city. Here's the enormous bridge. Here's where everyone lives. Here's all of these, like, you know, kind of propaganda posters. It has a total feel um, when you're out here looking at this city of a bit like, you know, Bioshock, Rapture, or the one that's in the sky. Um, can't even remember what that is called, but, you know, the one on the balloons. All right. Here's the tubes. Get him. All right, Jack. Just remember to be super supportive of her when she tells everyone at dinner. Bioshock Infinite, that's what it's called. All right, so we got a cool garden going on up here. And then... Uh, I guess, can I go, like, the back way? I can. Oh, what's in this room? Oh, it's the furnace. Wow. Alright, cool. Oh. And... Uh, I made it. Looks good. Happy birthday, Luna. I hit it big tonight. Think fast. Your present, such as it is. What's that in it? The pentacide. No shit, I mean the swirly stuff. Looks like snow. What's snow? I don't know, wintertime shit. They say it's in Calthus all the time. Looks pretty as all. Oh! Caleb! Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Move your hand, let me see. Constable got a lucky shot. I'll be ah! Oh, damn it, Jack! It's not good. Did they follow you? You got yourself hurt over this thing. Careful, Caleb. Your guts are split. Why didn't you? I didn't want to ruin your birthday at all. That's dumb. Jack, come on. We need medicine. I've got an idea. Explain on the way. You guys, watch him. Get the rags and the water, and don't let him sleep. You know how to do this. We'll be quick. We'll be real quick. So, what's the plan? I'm still making it up, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. You're making it up? It's gelling. Have faith. Caleb's gonna be all right. We gotta save Caleb. That guy prioritizes birthdays. I like where his head's at. Nobleman 
been buying all the housing in the East Nets and Harrow's Edge. That's the mock. That's, uh... That's the they'll kill you kind of place, Luna. Noble means rich. Rich means magic. Magic means... What? I don't know. Healing crystals or something. Drugs from Topside. I mean, I don't have a better idea. Yeah. Yeah. No, this, this is smart. They say he's old. He'll have all kinds of medicine. It's a good play. All right, I'm looking at the map. Wow, look at this map. Okay then, yep. You're saying something you're not saying. It's just wanted notice. Reward offered for information pertaining to the bridge rats, gang of thieves, and cut purses operating in the underbridge. Uh oh. Is that us? Or is that this some other kind of comes better gang? You. Like it's so natural you didn't even know what our plan was gonna be when we headed out, and now bam, here's how we're getting out of this. You're going to do great when I'm gone, Jack. I promise. Okay. Look at this little shop. Should I buy that? Nope, you're going over here. Okay. Funny. Lights, Army, and the Nightblades. The Ever War is fought between the Lights, Army of Lucium and the Nightblades of Rasharn. We've been taught since birth to despise the Nightblades. We are told they are without honor, morals, or mercy. After you've lost enough friends, you start to believe it. Looks like it. they're in a hurry. What do you think they're doing here? I don't know. It's weird. Over there. That manor. That's where we're going. Huh. Okay, then. Game face, Jack. Yep. yep. Manor. Okay. Oh, this is a rather large place. So there are some people who live in the Underbridge who are actually wealthy? Boy, you shouldn't let this... I don't know this... what any of this stuff is. What color is life magic? Life magic? Look, I don't know. I think it's green. Just look for green. Um, letter from Laverne. Dear Sir, please be informed of hostile Nightblade activity in and around Topside in recent days. Recommend taking a temporary leave of your premises until the situation is resolved. Sir Denrith Lavenry, Intelligence Minister. So, you know, you shouldn't allow a zipline into your place. But it looks like they're not here because uh, they are leaving because of the Nightblades coming in, apparently. This is a really nice... Oh, green. I found the green. Um... Nice secret passage. You know, do you think secret passages came before libraries and libraries were just an excuse oh, shit. You didn't to conceal them? Magnus. Do you know how to work a sigil? Pfft, no, you don't either. Details. Just open it or whatever. Open it. Shoot crystal locks with the matching color to open doors or trigger switches. Okay. I shot it. Um, oh, it's a cool hat. I like it. Or, it's like a tentacle thing. Is that your definition of being careful, or? Whoops. What are we gonna do with it? Wiggle it, Caleb? Maybe. What, what do you mean, maybe? Uh-oh. Shit, let's get out of here. Run! Oh, run, run. okay. I'm like shooting them. Okay, oh my god, I'm running. It's getting intense. Uh just for us, Saren's being attacked. Erend. That was good timing on our part. Oh my goodness. Whoa, what is that? Sandrak's attacking the city. We have to get back to the others. It's an airship. Okay. I thought it was like a whale. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness, things are blowing up. 
We gotta get home. Don't just look at the fire, man. Run. They don't even care. Move it, Jack. I'm trying to move it. I'm really fast. All right. I used my double jump. Did you see that? That was well-timed. Uh, okay. I shot that guy. Because I could. Come on, come on. We've got to get back. I'm trying. Okay. Jump, jump. Uh, jump, jump. And, uh, hi. Okay, yep. Use this thing. Uh-oh. Simpa seat. No, no. He's just hitting us while I'm trying to hold on to this. You did. I made jokes the whole time. Feel guilty later. No. Are you all right? Right. Right behind you. I need the life magic thing. Whoa. I, uh, I, I don't know what to do. It's shock. Don't let it in. How are you already a soldier? I'm just acting like I figure they act. Jack! Luna! Come on! Uh-oh. Uh, is that where they were? You aren't done here, asshole. What are you doing? Just run, Jack. It's okay. No! Don't! Whoa! Uh, we just lost everybody. And now I don't even know. We're gonna... Is it bottomless? Is she okay? Oh, he's angry. Uh-oh. Ooh, I got some better magic now. Ooh, it's rainbow magic. Ooh, yeah, you guys are in trouble. You see this rainbow magic I got? Oh, you're dead. I got, like, fireworks coming from every angle. Oh, God, I fell. Okay, it was really good until I fell off the edge. Don't worry about that. That didn't actually happen. I got him. Oh, I passed out. Too much, too much of the old magic. You think Caleb's okay? I mean, Babs probably dodged, right? Luna might climb back up over the edge. Oh my god, is it the snow globe? God, this darn snow globe. It's bad luck, this thing. It's, everything happened because of the globe. Do I still have that magic hat thing? 
They have names for what you are. An unforeseen. A candle of Shaled. Oh. A child of the rivers. I know her. In this case, yes. The next time it happens, it might kill you. We're driving the Rasharnians back from Saren. But you aren't safe here anymore. They'll hunt you down. You'll need help. Jack. You'll need help, Jack. I'm Grand Magnus Kirkin of the Order of Immortals, Field Marshal to the Light's Army. You can add late to all that. Fine. I know who you are. I've seen the posters. Join the fight. So, Jack, are you going to? Well, it, they told me about the cheese, so I'm kind of in. I also like belts. That lady's from Firefly. The power inside you, it comes from the ley lines. All magic in this world does. And those of us lucky enough to be able to catch that magic can make it do almost anything we want. Uh, okay, back up. This world? That's right. There's another under this one. The Shrouded Realm. That's where magic starts. Where the ley lines pour out from. Look at them, Jack. Try to see the web they make. Do I have to close my eyes or something? Uh, no. No, not at all. Just look at that ley line there. And then let yourself see through it. He's like a magic guy. I'm terrible at these. Jack, I hope you can do this. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. They're everywhere. Yeah, they're yes. the different colors. They cover avium like avium. a net. Bathing it in magic. This is why we fight in the Ever War. Politics, land, ideologies, all of that is secondary to the control of magic. Who's we? The Magni Orders. The armies those orders command. Now that the other kingdoms are either lost or scattered, only Lucian remains to resist the tyrant of Rashan. Sandrak. <laughs> More and more, he drives all forces into the wound itself, casting them down into that bottomless hole under the watching judgment of the Pentasad. If it approves or not, it's never bothered to tell us. That's not fair. Oh man. We're almost out of time, Jack. Sandrak attacks us from all sides, and there is no place left to run. I know what you're about to say, but I'm not a soldier. I'll fix that. Here's a belt. You're a soldier.
shit. You've never seen the Pentaside up close. You saw how I lived under a giant bridge. A giant bridge, sir. Use it. Where'd you get that flying thing? Why don't I have that? It's, it's like a segue in the sky. What Rashan did to your home in Saren. They've been doing everywhere. Sandrak's forces are relentless now that Kalthus has fallen. This was all a sanctuary settlement of refugees fleeing the front lines before it became just another battlefield. It's as good a place as any to continue your training. Train me. This place is empty. Sandrak massacred everyone? Your sigils will help you focus your magic. Make it accurate. Keep it level. Prevent it from killing you. Your sigils mark you as a battle mage of Lucium and the Light's armor. My Magnus. Yes. Now, get ready to fight, Magnus. Fight what, sir? Battlefields have memories, Jack. I'll wake them for you. No, no, you don't. You don't need to do that. You can just tell me what to shoot, like at the wall. All right. Um, the Pentasod. You know, I'm actually curious. So this is their god? The statue of the Pentasod stands at the heart of um, Abium, rising up impossibly from the bottomless wound to watch us all. No one knows exactly why. It's been around forever, maybe even longer. The Magni call it the five-faced king of magic, and every kingdom swears it favors them to win the Ever War. It's pretty convenient that the Pentasod never speaks to one of them, um, so it might get caught in a... or one of them might get caught in a lie. Right. Doesn't do anything. It's just a statue. Um, Shriek Bolt. No, don't hit me. Oh, I got you. Reload. Cool, so it's kind of like a shooter. Um, hey, what are you doing up there? Oh, I can shoot really fast. You're dead, buddy. Oh, don't shoot her. She's she's nice. Okay. That's the general. Um, press circle to move. Oh, you can jump, double jump, blink. Okay, cool. Ooh, the combat's kind of fun. All right. Oh, I blasted that guy. This way. Um, the sigil. Sigils are Magnus' primary weapons and focus their magic power. They shape the raw spells a Magnus can learn and can be improved to make the spells more powerful. They are used to cast strikes, my basic attack spell. I got some money. Man, we need to make more memories. Just keep making the memories and I'll kill it and then I get money and then we can get rich and then we move away from this whole, you know, Sandrak thing and we're good. Well, everybody, I gotta tell you what. I wasn't sure at all what to expect of this game, but the, look at this, there's a treasure chest back here. The opening story has been awesome. And what is this thing? Um, can I open this? I got it, 5,000 gold. Yes. She was hiding that from me. She was trying to keep that for herself. I'm really enjoying this game, actually. I didn't know if I would. I'll see how it progresses. It might not, you know, be that great. But for right now, I'm um, I'm into it. You know, we're going to try to avenge everybody. We're going to see if Luna's really dead. Meet up with Caleb and Babs and try some of that kid's Fife stew or whatever at some point. After we become a Magus, you know. I'd love to know what you all think of this game. What are your impressions seeing it so far? Have you played it? Would you like to see more of this? What are your thoughts as you witness the immortals of Avium, Avium? I'm going to mispronounce it every single time. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care.